All right, so we're here for round one. It's actually round two of the daily. As a, as a Belcher guy does, uh, I recorded without my mic on. But that's all right because uh, we're here for round two. Uh, it was just against Monterey. It wasn't even that good of a match. Uh, and we're going to keep this. We get to go turn one challenge, turn two, sneak attack, hope. Well, actually, no, this hand is... Mm, we have three versions of Through the Breach... We had, if this was a fatty, I would keep, but we need to draw a fatty and a red and hope this chalice uh, holds out. And we can't really turn one without losing our city, so if this gets countered, yeah, I think this is a mulligan. All right, this hand's, this hand's pretty good. We just get to go turn one Blood Moon, and, uh, and if that doesn't work, it's going to be hard to get to this, but I do like this. So we are going to keep... And jam on a blood moon, hope it sticks. If he's playing bug, he is dead as poop. Alright, no force. No 19. Don't go to 19. Manu, Manu, you don't want 19 life? No! They always got it. All right, so he has to reassess since we only have, you know, three potentially going down to three permanents in play. It's probably just another uh, Miracles opponent, so game one is a little rough. Game two, we, we, we get some tricks up our sleeve after game two. I don't even, you know. <laughs> He's just gloating. He's just like, yeah, you don't have another Blood Moon. All right, well, at least we drew a pedal here so we can get the sneak attack into play, and that might actually be good enough. Uh, he He's under the pressure to actually do something. If he has another force of will, though, yeah. So now he has to find his way to deal with sneak attack, and we just need to find uh, one of our more important. We, we have eight baddies that are important. Infernal Titan, you know, We'll deal 13, which is sweet and all, but that doesn't win us the game. But, yep, yeah, this is the situation we get into. He'll, he'll, he'll have, like, I'd say, like, four turns. Four turns, and we'll be dead. Uh, or we'll lose our sneak attack. But uh, we have four turns to rip one of our eight cards. Ooh, he wants that card, huh? He wanted the top card of his library, so I don't know what it was. All right, so, okay. We're not going to the uh, judgment of the councils just as yet, but that is what I think that man was digging for. No land. All right. <laughs> Get our beat stick on. We got a clock. I, I, you, you guys don't even want to know how many times these guys killed opponents. This guy kills a lot of opponents in this deck. Like those bug delvers. All right, yeah, look, see? Respect. All right, our ape's going to go, you know, tend to the fields for now. We'll just, uh, we'll just let him chill out. We don't need to be in sight. I, I believe that he's working. Keep playing lands in case he deals with this sneak attack. We rip another sneak attack. Who knows? We might just have enough lands to where we want to hard cast an Infernal Titan. But yep, yeah, this is the deck. Uh, for the use of for those of you out there, just like love the sweat, love watching an opponent just turn the gears and try to find all the answers. Pretty soon a Jace is going to come down and start ticking up. All our hopes and dreams are going to go along with it. We're not threat dance enough. 
So, yeah, Jace, better than them all, is going to show up. And our odds of top decking a good creature are dwindling. Hopefully it's not this turn. He has had enough time to manipulate yet. Yeah. Flip in, play on land, here comes Jace. Yep, take up. Let's check the top card of the library. Yep, put it on top. Let me take another look. Oop, put it on top. Oh, wait, he brainstormed. Wow. No, wait, no, oh, he literally brainstormed. Oh, he topped. Never mind. I wasn't paying any attention. Oh, he put it on the bottom. All right, we got a chance. Uh -huh. All right, well, this is going to... I don't know. Nothing. It's going to do nothing. It's going to eat a counter spell. That one. Bristle Brands just chilling at the bottom of our library. we like, I was trying to get to you, boss. Up to nine. Nope. He's going to cast something. Nope. He's going to look. At least we get a Rablum. Now we're going to get a Rablum next game. So that's going to be fun. Alright. Pick up. Get it on top. Cast. Up to 11 already. Take the Jace. Nothing can go wrong. Not even this entreat for a million. We gotta hit a big one. <laughs> Say bottom. Just put it on the bottom. Give us a sweat. Alright. We're dead on both fronts. But we get a good sideboard. So, now what we bring in is we bring in these four defense grids and these four rabble masters. And the cards that come out are Seeding Songs and Blood Moons. Now, Blood Moon. Uh, you can keep a couple Blood Moons if you really want to. Um, just for the fact that it does hit uh, mid-game Krakus for the Through the Breaches. And I've experimented with, like, cunning, like, a couple random cards. Like, one Through the Breach and one Emrakul. But uh, on the play, I tend to just, like, not have any Blood Moons and just uh, submit as it as is. Now, Blood Moon does help in really weird spots. Um... Letting your land stay alive, uh, like your cities and your uh, standstone needles. So when you take them out, it kind of messes with your late game. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but it, it does happen because you have Lotus Petals and Simian Spirit Guides. And the way that Rebel Master works is you kind of get kind of a late game in this matchup. Um, but Blood Moon also forces you into that, so it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, because you have Blood Moon in your deck, you, you have worse draws, but... Uh, uh, Chalice on one into Rebel Master or Defense Grid into Combo is exactly what we're looking for and we don't need Seething Songs to just power it out because we, in a matchup like this, we really want to have a uh, an early spell that annoys them like a Rebel Master, Defense Grid, or a Chalice. So um, getting the Blood Moon usually doesn't do that much. It does help against Fetch Lands, against their Brainstorms and their Tops. Uh, and it usually slows their game plan down. And on the draw, we will be bringing in a couple. But on the play, it's not uh, really where I ever want to be. All right, so let's take a look at our opening hand. And 
Hmm. We're gonna keep it, but double force of will without drawing an, an, another land is a little rough, just having two lands that just die. But we get to play defense grid into sans, uh, defense grid into sneak attack, so hopefully this works out. Problem is, defense grid can't get. It can get spell pierce now, or um, this can take the force will, and then this will get the counter spell, and we're going to run out of lands. Goblins are smelly. Oh, alright, well, now we get to resolve our sneak attack very easily. And if we draw land, we just get to uh, kill him. Alright, let's see what he does with his turn. Could just be wear tear, they bring it in to deal with our permanence. Um, but. I guess if he wears it here, then he has a force of will, which really sucks. Got it. We're good. We're good to go. Alright, But yeah, this is this is a good hand. I mean, it's a little risky with uh, our lands both being depletion counter lands, but just look at how much gas we have. Like, we just have a, a way to protect into all of this awesome stuff. And uh, who knows? Like, if he dealt with this, we could like if we drew like something like a land, we could just like go rebel master, see what see what he does against that. Uh, trying to sandbag the sneak attack since uh, the sneak attack allows us to to uh, kill him. He's in the tank, man. He knows he's dead. There's just like fetch life thoughts is you. What is he is look at all this time he's taking. He is he's just so slow. Just thinking with all these blue cards. Who needs that? Who needs to think about blue cards? We're just trying to deal 22, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift style. You get it? I don't know about you, but I feel like dealing 22. Everything's gonna be alright if they're not playing blue. <laughs> alright, Pithy Needle, oh! Oh. How do we just wait to through the breach him? So we didn't draw an appropriate land. No, nope. we're hoping Rabble gets there. Uh, Got to keep the pressure on. Put the needle and didn't draw a land. No! Ah! Well, there you are. I mean, if we rip another land, we should be good unless he... Yeah, I mean, we have so many mana sources. I mean, he's just going to have to hold up all his mana, and then we have this. Like, I, I think we're going to get a chat to draw a bunch of cards with Crystal Brand, so. I mean, what's he going to try to... Now he's going to jace us and tick up trying to fight for what? I think at this point there's a lot of cards that need to go on the bottom, if, if depending on what his style is. There we go. Let's do some fun stuff. 
I guess just making him sacrifice his whole board sounds better than, than, than Gristlebrand, but it's not. Because we can just kill him. All right, let's figure out what we can do. Do we draw? We drew three Simian Spirit Guides and an Ancient Tomb, but we didn't draw through the breach. No, through the breach. Huh. So I think we want to do play another Goblin. And honestly, a chalice on one seems awesome. So let's do this. Let's exile. 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 Play Goblin Rabble Master. Chalice on one. And attack. This is going to kill the Jace. These are going to attack him. And we're not going to lose life because then we can't. All right, so sneak attack is gone. Sneak attack is gone. Our hand is nine cards now. Uh, do we want to shuffle all of this back in? Not really, but we do want to make all our land drops. So yeah, we'll just... We'll just do that and hope our board is good enough. Like, I find it difficult. Like, we could have just Emmer cooled him. Probably was just better to Emmer cool him. Where's the fun in that, though? Counter it. It's, I don't even need to be playing in real life. We're on moto. I don't even have to remember. <laughs> All right. So, what shall we do? I actually don't really want to change anything because he is keeping swords in. So, like, Blood Moon does help a little bit with the late game. But I don't know what to cut. I never know what to cut with this, this build. Uh... Since he has, he's showing aggressive pithy needles. I think we can just cut it through the breach and one fatty, and that tends to be the gristle brand because an ember cool like. It's actually better to just draw a bunch of cards with this deck. I found like they just can't beat it, and we'll just play two blood moons. Since he's on the enlightened plan, he's just going to, uh, just preemptively play sneak attack. So we don't or our uh, pithy needle. We could bring in crashes for it, but it's not that good. I'd rather just attack him on all the fronts that we have. Uh, hell, I mean, a turn one chalice stops the pithy needle, so we don't always need a. Uh, even if he has access to put it into play, sometimes he won't be able to. And we have other win conditions. You can just kill him with Infernal Titan. Like, the more he tries to fight our combo, uh, the less his deck can fight all the different things. Like, we saw that game. Like, he, he did keep swords in, and that was able to kill one of our guys. But once we were able, then we were able to sneak our combo in because he had, you know, different cards just to fight all the different things. Like he was just uh, using proactive ways to deal with half of our threats, and we were able to through the breach. All right, so what do we have here? That's a greedy hand that I'm I'm gonna keep. Uh, we really want a two mana land, or just another land so we can just play defense grid. Um. Oh. oh no. Alright. We'll try to bait him with this. Hopefully we draw two mana land. This hand was I think this hand was too risky. <laughs> I'm so proud of keeping the most bad ads with this deck. 
and then not jamming with them. Like if you had force, I think you had to force there. Alright. Oh no, we should have cast that. Ugh. This is gonna bite us. No biting needle. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Well, he can't answer it now, but on his turn. I don't want to look. Tell me what happens. He hasn't looked yet, I was just blind. <laughs> Yay! We doing it! I don't know about you, but I feel like Dylan 22. Everything's gonna be alright, even though he's playing blue. I should probably just be a singer. That's probably what should happen. Can't respond. Can't do nothing. Uh, I want. I want. I want now to deal twenty-two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pay seven. Really? Really, deck. All right. Well, let, let's let's do some fun then. Aww, but uh, how much would it have been? Four goblins, they would have dealt 10, 17, so we'd have to put a titan into play. All right, well, that's round uh, one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you for the next round.